Hey, welcome to Topic Tuesday, the uh, opportunity for me to talk about something that's not really about the gameplay, but matters to me. And uh, check it out, we've got a new intro, hope you guys like it. Alright, so today's topic is jobs, jobs, jobs. So my previous Topic Tuesday, I discussed social confidence and uh, how that can help you get a job. Uh, but uh, today, I really wanted to talk to you about what I've learned in the numerous jobs that I've had and uh, probably things that I would probably have changed um, if I could do it all over again so to speak so oh yeah enjoy this flawless mob gameplay um, definitely own this cabin area for the duration of the game uh, I was stoked to get a flawless but um, these are definitely harder and harder to get you'll notice during this entire gameplay that uh, nobody knows what a flashbang is and so, if you uh, attempt to try and get these flawless gameplays now, usually the players know um, either throw an RPG into that room, uh, a grenade launcher, or get a concussion grenade in there. Anyways, back on topic. So, um, I've had a lot of jobs in the past, and um, some good, some bad. My um, Some of my favorite jobs would definitely be stuff where I got to work with friends and things. Uh, however, there are some times in my life where I probably should have ventured out a little bit more and probably done something more my own thing instead of just having a good time. But um, if you're looking for a summer job right now and uh, you're not sure what to do, probably my best advice would be to try and go and do something that you've never done before. Uh, I remember when I was getting out of high school for the summer and uh, in between high school and uh, college. The jobs that I would take were um, always interesting, um, and my favorite jobs were the ones that probably taught me the most. And so, um, <clears throat> every now and then you'll be enticed to probably go for the easy job. And uh, I'll, looking back on some of the things that I've done, uh, for example, uh, I used to work at a lovely little joint called Jersey City, where we just sell sports jerseys. And um, there's like a, about six televisions inside the store running sports all day. So for a good year, I had a job there. Uh, it was in the mall, but uh, I pretty much watched sports all day. So I thought that was a pretty sweet deal. Uh, however, I wasn't making much money and oftentimes would spend what I was making on uh, food there at the mall. Uh, I had shifts that were about four hours. Um, again, never made much money, but uh, did have a lot of fun. Looking back on it, probably should have done something a little bit more challenging. And uh, that's exactly what happened after uh, I left that job. Um, probably the job where I learned the most would have been um, I was working at a fast food joint and there was one customer that would come in and see me on a regular basis always order the same thing we always had nice long chats he appreciated my ability to uh, hold a conversation and one day he walked into the uh, fast food joint and asked me if I'd like to run his business now this was a pretty cool thing that someone would just ask you out of the blue so I definitely want to take him up on it and so one of my favorite jobs that I had was running this little industrial soap store this was uh, I was running this for this gentleman who was uh, getting close to retirement and um, was thinking about selling his business and was just kind of running out of steam uh, as far as how demanding the job was so uh, I took it over for him uh, I worked about three days a week I was by myself I did absolutely everything at that business and uh, looking back, that probably taught me a mo the most about running my own business, which is what I do now. And I'm, you know, thinking again, thinking back to the other jobs I had. Uh, I worked at a golf course with a friend. Um, I did some some other opportunities, which again, I probably should have challenged myself more because you're going to look back once you're, you know, through your mid twenties and early thirties on the jobs that you've had and the things that you could have learned. Um, I also did some construction work. Glad I did that. I realized that I'm definitely not a construction worker. However, I do have the tools to do a couple things. And um, yeah, those are the type of things where if you've got the opportunity to learn, definitely go for them. Uh, I had one summer where I was working a really easy job while the rest of my friends were building fences. And they all worked for the same company. Um, although the work was hard, they all had a really good time together and uh, built fences with each other and uh, learned a lot about that. And uh, I kind of regret not doing that because it would be a nice skill to have 
um, especially when you know you own a home or a property and you have to fix things um, it's really cool to have uh, skills in your repertoire to uh, fix things because you once had a job doing that so <clears throat> so yeah that's just my view on some of the jobs and things and opportunities that you might have uh, in your life definitely try and pursue something that um, one makes you uncomfortable and uh, two challenges yourself to think of and experience new things the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, this this thing with job stigma and um, when people are applying for certain jobs sometimes they feel like you know they can't believe that they're applying at a place like McDonald's or um, you know any of those jobs where people are like kind of give it that oh my gosh I can't believe you're working there type of thing and uh, the reality is once you get a job early on for example let's just say that you did work at McDonald's and or another fast food uh, organization the reality is if you work there and you do a good job their training and their practices for making their employees uh, top-notch uh, are well recognized and uh, I've had many a conversation with uh, people that uh, have either worked at McDonald's and moved up to management and then uh, utilized that experience to get themselves into a larger management position and uh, never underestimate the ability to uh, one never burn your bridges and to create a good reference because you never know who's going to be reading it down the line and you'll never know where the skills that you've learned uh, at one of those jobs will come in handy um, I never think that people that uh, work at fast food since I did it myself um, have an easy ride because it's obviously 100% demanding you're pretty much on uh, you have to be on the ball the entire time and um, if I was looking for an employee myself it's definitely one of those things that I'd be looking for and uh, references are just so important so what are some of the jobs that you've had uh, tell me your best job and worst job and uh, you throw some other stuff down in the comments please tell me how you guys enjoyed our intro and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this MOBE gameplay. And if you can think of another topic for next week's Topic Tuesday, please throw it down there in the comments section. And uh, we always appreciate anyone that uh, shares our video or adds a like. Uh, also, check out our Twitter account at uh, NoAntine, as well as uh, our Facebook page. And uh, we also hope to uh, start creating, again, a solid schedule. I've now done two Topic Tuesdays, and a is going to get some more regular videos happening. So thanks for joining me, and uh, check out our other videos. See you later, guys.